Here we are at Dundas Square on uh, the 15th of September 2012. Uh, well, we couldn't make it uh, down the, on, the, on the 11th anniversary. Uh, we're at Toronto Tree Seekers out here for another uh, Saturday, and it is the uh, final uh, meetup, I guess, for the Summer of Truth. Summer of Truth 2012, because next week I think it'll be the fall. Yeah, next time, uh, next, it's going to be fall pretty soon, so it doesn't mean that truth is going to stop, it just that means that we're going in from one phase to another. Yeah, the Patriot, uh, turning, turning, turning citizens into uh, suspects since 2001. Uh, uh, we just got to keep an eye on this over here. He wants to get rid of all the Christians on the street corner. So he's got 15, uh, 1,500, 1,500 uh, signatures to have all the Christians out of here, on the corner, yeah. And it's just going to be him here. Different, different uh, people on the circuits to uh, sign. Exactly. He's an Illuminati controlled uh, clown. We want to concentrate a little bit on 9 11, plus concentrate on where we're going with uh, what happened on 9 11. We want to con concentrate on that. The war, the impending war, which already, the fuse has already been lit on Iran already. So we got to concentrate on that and uh, all the wars that have been happening since 9 11. We know 9 11 was an inside job, but depends on where you are on the on the fence, whether you believe it or you don't believe it. But all, you, all we really know is that we've been lied to about that day. So we want to go on from that and to find out what what's going to happen in the in the near future with these impending wars. Uh, we are in Libya and in, uh, Syria and stuff like that. It's now uh, just around the corner. Yeah. And if you didn't know that uh, Canada's closed their embassies in in Iran already. Yeah, there's the sign. You think uh, Bush was a warmonger? This, he's Obama's worst. Guarantees. History, history. History will, will explain to you what, what I mean. 20 cents a copy, believe it or not, eh? Yeah. Whatever you like, harp technology. Uh... The only thing I know is this guy, they credit him for uh, keeping the nuclear uh, bombs out. They want to sell nuclear bombers and selling them. Yeah, yeah. TTC commissioners, uh, Metro, Metro chairman, Mark Ocker, yeah. Here's another one. Uh, there are two mistakes one can make along the road to truth. Not going all the way and not starting. Buddha. Buddha philosophy. So it doesn't have to be just Christian philosophy. It could be... It could be a Buddhist philosophy too, because he meant truth. The Dharma equals truth. I belong to a Buddhist temple, and uh, his teachings are good. No matter what, no matter what you think, they refuse to accept the American, the American dollar for oil. Metro on May 2nd, uh, 2011. Bin Laden is dead. But this here is an undated uh, photo. I think probably taken back in the uh, probably 11, 12 years ago, probably. You know. And he actually worked for the CIA, you know. And he actually said, I didn't, I had nothing to do with that, 9-11. I'm being blamed for everything that's been going on. But 9-11, I, did, I, did, I wasn't behind it, you know. But they still want to keep it like, a, Bin Laden did it, Bin Laden did it. Bin Laden. They first started out with uh, Saddam Hussein was behind 9-11. But that, they, I think they, uh, they hated uh, hearing themselves speak like that, so they decided to blame somebody else. We already know uh, Bin Laden didn't do it. He, he said so. You know, so. The, good, the good news with this anniversary is that they're saying that uh, they're airing on PBS. They air experts speak out. 9/11. Uh, the architects and engineers for 9/11. Yeah, yeah. Also, on this uh, this one here had Richard Gage and uh, some of those guys on there as well, talking about that. Eh? And, and uh, naturally, they got to put the official story in there and try to debunk. Everything else. And then there was another one they did, Conspiracy Rising. Was it that one where they're saying uh, how it's a mental illness, conspiracy theory thinking? I don't know if it's Conspiracy Rising. It's a 9-11 conspiracy something. I forget the name of it, but 
it's more or less of a hit piece, you know, like that type of thing. But we want to concentrate uh, not just on what happened that day, what also happened after that. Yeah, they were talking about, uh, she was talking about that she got the wrong information, stuff like that, from uh, whatever source she got it from, so. I was thrown, not a question, but a statement of fact. I don't know where that came from. Jane, what more can you tell us about its collapse? Well, only really what you already know. Details are very, very sketchy. I mean, it's very, very difficult being in that position where you've got no communications, no access to information, and that just comes out of left field. Details are very, very sketchy. There's it was very upsetting about a year ago because of the level of persecution and the virulence in which I was spoken about. And um, it's just very unfortunate that this whole conspiracy kind of, I think, rather ridiculous situation has grown out of what's really a very small and very honest mistake. Well, unfortunately, I think we've lost the line with uh, Jane Stanley. The BBC says there's a simple explanation for the interview ending abruptly. The satellite feed had an electronic timer, which cut out at quarter past five, exactly. As you can tell, Building 7's still there. It didn't fall a half an hour before it fell. It's still there. CBC has been busy uh, recently. Actually, a few days ago, they ran on the anniversary of the Occupy New York. They did a uh, whole Occupy anniversary thing. They interviewed the guy uh, from Adbusters, right, that founded it or created the, the Twitter meme or whatever. And uh, he's still calling for a global revolution. He's saying he wants radical democracy. Uh, we, we basically want, we the people want to take charge and have a radical democracy and stop the, the corporations and the authorities telling us how to run our affairs. And in fact, Occupy was really just a an incredibly successful branding exercise by adbusters. Occupy, because Occupy is, bas is a basic threat to, to the world as we know it. It's bound to happen sooner or later, you know, it's got to, depends on when, not if, it just depends on when, but we'll keep an eye out on that too. Three towers at well yeah. One, two, and then building seven. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got to keep an eye out what your government is doing. You know, it's, it's, it's your life, you know, that, that type of thing. So you got to do, do your research and uh, come on down the table and get educated. And uh, then that way you can spread the word. You know, that's all what we're trying to do here. Yeah, I know that Conspiracy Rising one, they got all these guys that uh, seem like they're, they've they got some big credentials. They got big, like, titles before their names. But these guys are all involved with that uh Skeptics, International Federation of Skeptics or whatever, that the Amazing Randy, the magician, runs? Yeah, and the uh, Penn and Tiller, they did, uh, they, they did a piece on 9-11 too as well. And it was a hit piece. People, the 9-11, uh, what, what's called the truthers, uh, were actually uh, harassed and threatened our prop guy. The Bin Laden wanted posted the first one that they put up, but they have no hard evidence connecting with him to 9-11. Right. Nothing. Revised Why? November 2001, yeah, that's yeah. when they should have known. Just November before his death, uh, a month after, I believe, in December 2001, they had kidney problems and uh, stuff like that. That was a good picture of Bin Laden, uh, that's when he was healthy, uh, but near his end of his death in December 2001, he was very sickly looking. He was killed in Afghanistan during that firefight. Afghanistan, just hiding in that mountain. Exactly, the Khyber Pass, the Tora Bora like, border or something. They claim they let him go. Yeah, it was Tora Bora for sure. Yeah. He's just come back to life uh, yeah. 9, 10, 11 times already. You know? Why he just recently met with this guy that had financed uh, Al Qaeda in Pakistan, and then uh, Joe Biden actually like really gets really mad at him. <laughs> you know, you could tell, you could see, <laughs> see in his look, he tells him, get a life. He tells Luke Rudesky, get a life. Yeah, exactly, yeah. But he financed he the not. hijackers, and you well, let him go, and he's free. He hijacked finance. the hijackers. No one knew he financed the hijackers. He it's wired. It's, it's, it's reported. Uh, at least uh, Canada, Canadian Awareness Network has been doing some. They got with uh, Jean Chrétien. They talked with Jean Chrétien about the water. Yeah, I heard about that, yeah. Agenda 21 would really help our environmental situation with water. 
Uh, what? United Nations Agenda 21. Then we, it's all right. Yeah, but you say everything helps. Everything uh, help out? It's better to do something than to do nothing. Enjoy our truth table here. Come on out, everybody. Enjoy our table and all information. Come and join the good friends like this gentleman right here. Brother Tom over there, who fell off his bicycle. Babylon T.O., what's up? Living in age of reason. <laughs> I say it jokingly, of course. Any chemtrails? Do you anything on chemtrails? Uh, yeah, I just did more to capture the attention of two topics. The new passports, the 10 year passports they're going to come out with, will have a microchip in them. And the second is all the heat that uh, Vladimir Putin is getting from Russia's involvement in the uh, Asia Pacific. Uh, summit last week. Canada's been sold out. Every country's been sold out. And now we're going to go to war now with this new um, um, uh, Muslim movie against Muhammad. Bad movie. That's a joke. I saw that movie. It's a joke. It's not even a movie. It's like a mad TV sketch comedy. Like uh, That's what I heard. Yeah, it's about 13 minutes. Uh, but my downloaded it for me, so I have it. And uh, yeah, they say it was written by, done by a Christian. See, I don't care who it's done by, as long as it's factual. So yeah, I mean, if Muslims are going to be like that, I mean, they have to study their own source to see who Muhammad was. So after a light of the bombings in what uh, Egypt and Libya, I mean, there's another place I think Yemen that got into the em embassy. And um, yeah, I mean Albert, uh, I think it was uh, Albert Pike said it, I believe. We're gonna have three world wars. The third world war will, uh, will be about religion, economic, everything. And so far, it's Muslim versus the Christian. So this is just another foot in the door. The, the, the currency little by little all the time, right? We need that penny. Don't get rid of that penny. We need it back. I know it's monotonous sometimes to carry a bunch of pennies in your pocket, but that one penny makes the difference. This is part of the digital currency scam because they say they can even charge a fraction of a cent in a digital currency. You know, not even, even less than one cent. <laughs> so they're going to keep a one cent thing in digital, but if you're paying cash, they're going to round up. Yeah, that's the key word, round up keep you in debt. That's all it is, is a debt system that they want to keep you involved in. They don't want you to be well off. They don't, they don't want you to live a good life and healthy life with getting the best medical care. They want to keep it low. So it's more for them, less for us, you know? There's a conspiracy going on, big time. Uh, the microchips, did you hear about the chip truck that the Toronto Animal Services are going to have driving around Toronto? It's going to have microchips to get your pet uh, chip. Oh, really? Because I know that Sick Kids has a program that if you want to volunteer, you have to get a, a skin graft under your skin. And they said it's just an injection, a liquid injection, but a skin graft is on an injection. So, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. The first I do with the pets, because you know how now, you know how people are more cared about their pets than actual human life. So that's what they do with the pets first. Oh, it's a safety concern if they get lost, what have you. It's always a sympathy card that they play or try to, you know, try to say. Uh, or example, what they do um, with uh, Sunnybrook is they have the, a little uh, microchip, it's called the seed, and it's helped to prevent cancer. So they play the sympathy card. Oh, if you don't get it, you don't love your kids enough to stay alive or whatever. They always try to push an agenda on you. And now with the microchip that they're gonna, uh, what's the, yeah, with the pets, man. Yeah, Metro had an article, I think it was in, uh, in May about the microchip your kids. First start with the pets and then work their way up. So, I mean, our new passports are gonna be chipped now. Our bank cards are chipped. Yeah. That's how it starts. Our soccer, uh, sorry, our uh, sports teams, the jerseys will be chipped. So, that tells you right there. What's happening, man? It's, it's pretty awake and mostly all right. But this dog's the biggest attraction. That's like how I'm getting flyers out. It's because our team, this is our comedians. We call him Archie for short. Uh, he does have a microchip, but I will refuse the microchip and run for the hills if that happens. Right? What's it? Four days after? Four, four or five days after the 11th anniversary of 9 11. It's on Tuesday. Yeah, four days, yeah, that's for sure. So, 
Yeah, it's a 9-11, no matter what you think about it, uh, it's just a stepping stone of where we are today, right? With the vaccines coming out and uh, microchipping your animals, and uh, now it's gonna be after that, it's gonna be microchipping your children, and so we gotta keep an eye on your children. If you're gonna just microchip your kids and you're just gonna uh, let them go around and just be free, let them walk the streets, and, well, I don't have to uh, look after them. I'll just sit and watch my football game or watch the reality shows, and uh, that's it. I'll let the microchip do its own work. I don't have to do a thing. You know, let's take it away from proper parenting. You know what I mean? So we're going to do the right thing. But forget about the microchip. That's just part of the new world order system, and uh, it's all about control. Problem with it, don't take the chip campaign. I guess, you know, it's up to your, your, it's your own body, your own decision, but uh, or your own pet. But, you know, it should be allowed to also say, uh, don't take the chip. Exactly. Uh, say no. Uh, no is an easy word to say. There's nothing wrong with us at the, uh, the, at the Toronto Truth Seekers. It's the world that's wrong. It's the system is wrong. Thank you.